lovely to speak to you. Nice to speak to you. Congratulations on such a, a fantastic movie. There's something seriously nostalgic about this, but almost like classic Hollywood about it. Was that I feel like this is a film that was in you for a very long time. But we wanted to do a classic film. We really did. We thought, you know, it's the kind of movies I like and, and watch. I love there's sports films like Hoosiers and films like that that I always loved. And I and I wanted to be a part of one of those. You know, you, you when you're uh, when I'm very very old, I'm old. But when you're very old, it'll be nice to be able to look back and go, yeah, I took a swing at one of those kind of films once. And so we took a shot at it. What was it about this story that really made you want to make it? I like the I like the story about. Well, listen, everybody likes the story of overcoming, right? That's an, always a classic one. It's the fact that it's really true. You know, we didn't cheat any of the facts. All the things that happened in this film happened. You know, we didn't make stuff up. So it was fun to watch. You know, when you're watching it, if it weren't true, you couldn't do it because people go, this is silly. And the fact that they pulled it off. I, I just loved all of that. What was it like pl uh, working with this like, fantastic group of young actors? I didn't like them. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> and you'll understand. when you Have you talked to any of them yet? I spoke to one of them. They're kind of obnoxious, right? Yeah. Oh, no, come on. <laughs> tell the truth. They're obnoxious. <laughs> I'll tell you what I didn't like, a bunch of tall, good-looking guys. It's a little irritating after a while. Do you think this is the next Hollywood, the next big Hollywood with them? Yeah. I'll tell you that right now. They were great. They're just nice guys, and they all became great friends, and they're really good athletes, which was helpful. Because, you know, we beat them up. We trained them for three months. They just wanted to kill themselves by the time it was over. So it was, I felt very lucky. Thank you so much. And uh, do you have any hope of any um, possible Oscar buzz around? No, no, no. We just try to make movies and do our thing, you know. All right. Thank you, George. Oh, Brilliant. Thanks. Congratulations on the film. Thanks. Obviously, you're an accomplished actor and an accomplished director. Are there any lessons you take from your acting into directing? Well, are you... Wrangling everybody. Wrangling is easy. The, the trick, the one main thing you, you can pay attention to is how to treat actors. Because, <laughs> you know... Um, I think when you haven't been an actor and you're a director, a lot of times you don't understand what they need. And sometimes it's just to tell them to be faster, you know. Because as an actor, I really appreciate a director that says to me, do it faster and it'll work better. And so you learn stuff like that about it. But, yeah. And what was it that drew you to the story? I liked the book. I loved the book. And it was a huge, massive bestseller. And so that was a little daunting. But we'd also done Catch-22, so we'd been in famous books before um, but I liked I just thought this was a I thought this was an old fashioned movie I thought it was an old fashioned sports film that kind of rallies the troops together and you know we've had a very uh, difficult time in the world for the last few years and I've done a lot of cynical films I like them I'm, I'm drawn to them you know uh, and this felt not cynical at all and I like to do something like that Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you 